Welcome back into the gym. It is Monday, it is the 5th of July, and to bring us back this week, we have an AMRAP. It goes for 22 minutes and consists of three movements. Movement one is gonna be the lateral bar burpee. Movement two is gonna be the squat clean. Movement number three, the rope climb. So these three movements are gonna be built inside an AMRAP. It's 22 minutes, as I mentioned, and you're gonna start with 20 on the lateral bar burpees, 20 on the squat cleans, and five on the rope climbs. Each round you go through, you take, you take four off the burpees and the squat cleans, and you take one off the rope climbs. So that means eventually you get down to a round of four, four, and one. So if you finish that round of one rope climb, you go straight back to the top, get back to work, you are gifted with 20 more lateral bar burpees. It is the workout that continues to give. Options, absolutely. On the lateral bar burpee, I'll give you a two for one deal on single leg V-ups. Now on the squat clean, you gotta choose this one carefully. You can change the weight, but you cannot change the weight once the 22 minutes has started. So if you uh, fire off and you're, you're going good, you're going hard, you're doing the round of 20, yeah. But if you pick it up on the round of 16s and think, huh, I've made a huge mistake. I made a huge mistake. Well then, you just gotta keep chipping away because that, my friend, is your workout. On the rope climbs, I got a couple of different options here. So obviously the rope climb starts on five for the first round and that's four, three, two, and one. So you can attack those five, uh, those five different rounds as a two, 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 one, and one. So that means you'll never do more than two climbs in a round. Perfect if you're still perfecting your rope climb, if you look at the rope climb as something you're not 100% confident in just yet. Also as an option for the rope climbs, you can do a 10 to one hanging knee raise. So it's just a knee raise, there's no knee raise kick, it's just knee raise. Oh and there's a little twist on this workout. You can do parts two and three, so that's your squat cleans and your rope climbs uh, in any mishmash. So for example, I start the first round, I have to do my 20 lateral bar burpees, you have to do them 20 in a row, and then I might want to do, say, 10 squat cleans, and then I go and do three rope climbs, and then I go back and do six squat cleans, and then I do one rope climb, and then I go back and I do four squat cleans, and then I do my last rope climb, and that's my round. Now I'm over to the 16 lateral bar burpee. Now, if you know that's gonna frazzle up your workout, that's fine, you can just do it as written, but you do have the option to mold up those two gripping pieces and see if there's a number format that makes it a little more comfortable for you. Where something like that would work is if you're really confident that you can figure out a better way to get through your workout. And by a better way, I mean a way to manage your 22 minutes. So that would mean you don't have idle time. You're not just resting for the sake of resting. And as I already mentioned, they are two grip movements. So going from one to the other, it's not like you're resting the grip, right? You are gonna be resting some other parts of your shoulder and your guts and this and that, and moving from a different thing to a different thing. Obviously, you're gonna be using different muscles. So there is an element there where you could get a bit of an advantage as far as how much you can do in that 22 minutes. For the sneaky games today, I've combined everyone's two favorite things, uh, back squats on the barbell and sprinting calories on the bike. Whether you love the bike sprints or not, uh, I look forward to seeing everyone also on Tuesday where we're gonna have lots of heavy deadlifts.